Ari here with Authentically Ari. This topic is all about the TED Talk I watched back in 2017. It, it's now 12 years old, but I found it back in 2017 called Draw Your Future. And I'll put it right here for you um, by Patty. I think her last name is Dabrowski. You know, I've looked at throughout the years so many different ways to change your future, to manifest to bring your goals to life, to really let go of the things in your subconscious mind that are controlling everything. And this TED Talk changed my life because it gave me something that I had never done before, which is draw your future. Um, so I'll give you a quick example from my journal that I've written in for a long time now. This is an example. So the TED Talk is all about putting your present moment, your present circumstances, the current life you're in on paper. So you cut the piece of paper in half and one side shows your present situation and the other side is your future situation. One of the first things I drew that came to life later was my present situation back in 2017 when I was at a corporate job that I was extremely unhappy with that I had been wanting to leave for a while and I just couldn't get myself to do it. So you can see here, I put my present situation on one side and then my future on the other. And in the present situation, you don't need to be an artist. You don't need to have some sort of creative background. You just need to be able to draw. You can draw stick figures bubbles and in the present situation i put what was happening in the little bubbles i put um, all of the fear and anxiety i had around my situation wanting to leave the job and you know this is pretty personal to me so it takes a lot for me to share these pictures but i'm sharing it for a reason because it really changed my life and i know it can change yours so you're putting your present me situation. I drew a stick figure of me and I put in the, the little bubbles around me how I was feeling. You know, I was feeling fear, worry, anxiety. Is this really it? Is this what life's about? I feel like there's so much more to my life. What is my purpose? Do something. You're in control. Take action. A lot of... uh worries I put on there because that was my present situation and that was the situation that I wanted to change. And then for my future me on the other half of the piece of paper, I drew me happy holding flowers with my husband who was my boyfriend at the time. I drew kids, which I now have two kids, a boy and a girl, and I happened to draw a boy and a girl, which is so cool. I put you know, that love surrounds me. I have flowers in my hands. I have in the little bubbles, so many positive things. And this was my first time practicing what this TED Talk said to do. So I quickly got better and better at this. She says in the TED Talk to really in, in the future section to really draw what you want. And again, you don't need to be an artist, but add color to it. So in the future section, you're really adding vibrance and excitement. And this is all about tricking your mind into the reality that you desire and bringing about that feeling before it's, before it's there. And that is exactly what manifestation is all about, is embodying it before it actually exists faking it till you make it, whatever you believe in, your mind needs to see it on paper. I think most of us are visual learners, I sure am. And it's one thing to, to write down your goals. It's one thing to say, I am affirmations. But if you don't visually have what your future looks like out there for you, that you can see, I don't know what to tell you, this works. So in the one I just showed you was um, me drawing our wedding and I'll give you a side by side here of our actual wedding that happened and the drawing that I had done a year before that, um, you know, we hadn't picked the venue yet. We hadn't planned a single thing and they match up. <laughs> and I'm so blessed and so grateful that 
we had the means and the life to be able to create this. And I just want to show you guys that you can do this too. And I'll show you one more example. And then we're going to go back to my first one because it's really important. So this example is my manifestation for when I found out I was pregnant and how I wanted our life to look with our new baby boy who was on the way. I didn't know it was a boy at the time, but um, I ended up writing my girl's name, which is even more crazy because I have a baby boy, Levi, and a baby girl, Noah. Um, but it ended up manifesting her as well. But I wanted to go back to that first picture I drew. And I drew this manifestation of me quitting this corporate job multiple times. And you know what makes me sad is that I had drew my one month notice, me giving my one month notice. And what makes me sad, but also, you know, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking back. So you just have to trust. I drew these photos of me quitting. I didn't actually quit this job until 2021, after I had my son. And there's a reason for this. Like I said, drawing helps your brain. Believe that it is possible, that your future is possible. But if you do not work on your subconscious, your limiting beliefs, your worthiness, that you are enough, the drawings won't matter. And that's where you have to do both. So number one, you draw your present situation and then you draw that future you and you add color, you add vibrancy to it. And then after that, you have to work on your subconscious mind, those limiting beliefs that keep holding you back. And from 2017 to 2021, that is exactly what I was doing. And I knew that those things were so rooted and deep seated in my soul, the feeling of not being enough and my worth was all encompassing in doing this job that didn't make me happy. I battled this throughout my life, worthiness and loving myself and feeling like I am enough, just me and the seeking. And in 2021, when I had my son and things really COVID, everything kind of fell into place. I think that's when everything clicked and I was able to finally do it. It's exciting to look back on, but I just wanted to give you guys that real feedback that even if you draw your goal, you got to work on yourself in the meantime. So you have that physical image that you can look at every single day, but then you need to take those steps and really let go of what's holding you back. And the universe has your back. God, whatever you believe in, you know, you have to trust. You can't see that full staircase, but you have to take those first steps. You have to take that aligned action. What are three things that are actionable that align with your goals? Have you been thinking of starting a new business and you know someone that's doing it and you want to give them a call? You've been wanting to lose weight. You've been wanting to take back your health. You know that Something is in the back of your head and it's just been creeping in or it's been whispering to you and you've just been shutting it down. That whisper is there for a reason. Listen, 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 listen. I wanted to do a video on this. I've done a lot of other videos recently on nutrition, health, wellness, my own journey with that. But my channel really goes back to this at its core is helping you believe in yourself. It is okay to strive for more. It is okay to be unsettled in your current position and you don't need to fight yourself for that. Sometimes I feel a sense of guilt for feeling unsettled and then I say, I'm grateful, I'm grateful and I try to hijack my brain to stop those thoughts but those thoughts are okay and they're there for a reason. So let yourself feel them and then take aligned action and move in that right direction. Really dig deep and get heart-centered and get quiet. And what you seek is seeking you. What you long for is longing for you. And you just need to get centered and focused, write, draw, dream. As Wayne Dyer has said many times, don't die with the music still in you. Let that music out. Let yourself shine. I believe in you. 
If you've done this draw your future practice and it's worked for you, please share. I would love to see. All right. I love you guys. Take care.